check this out. That is a nail in my tire. Happy Thursday. I'm hoping that it'll be fixable based on its location on the tire, but it still doesn't change the fact that I have to wake up early to go to the tire store. Oh well, gotta do what you gotta do. Happy Thursday. All better, all fixed, good to go. Time to go to work. All right, so the tire is fixed. Luckily, it was fully repairable, and that's something that Firestone here does for free, so shout out Firestone for uh, fixing my tire. This lens is kind of dirty. But now that we're nearing the end of Vlogus, I realize that uh, I haven't really talked about what got me into filmmaking. And to be honest, I struggled calling myself a filmmaker for a long time, and I guess I still kind of do. It's still a little bit of imposter syndrome. I guess I've just always considered myself a content creator and never really uh, allowed myself to give myself that title of filmmaker, but I, I'm, I'm feeling like I'm slowly starting to shift into that. So screw it, I'm a filmmaker and I'm gonna own it. So my introduction to filmmaking really began in 2013. I had made some stuff previous to that, but they were just very simple things, shot on iPhone or point and shoot camera. Didn't put a whole lot of thought into production side of things. But in 2013, uh, my wife and I actually started a YouTube channel at the time. It was called Fantastic Recipes. So back in 2013, Pinterest was a real big thing and my wife was really into Pinterest. And uh, we thought of this idea, actually to give her full credit for the idea, but basically uh, we would go on Pinterest, we would search for recipes that looked delicious, because that was kind of a big thing on Pinterest, probably still is. We would find recipes that looked good, we would test them, we would cook them, we would taste test them, and we would film our reactions. We did it for a while actually, I'll throw up a clip here. So now, we taste. Let's see if this crack pie is... What it's cracked up to be. <laughs> Eventually life happened, you know, we started uh, producing and uploading the videos a little less frequently. I started getting interested in other projects that I wanted to work on. So at a certain point my wife kind of took over and uh, made the channel her own, started doing more vlogging and stuff there, and I went to work on another project which was called Lazy and Stupid. At the time I thought it was a pretty cool idea, and actually I still, I still kind of like the concept of it, and really it was internet tips and tricks for the lazy and stupid. I uploaded eight videos there, and I haven't uploaded anything there for at least a few years. Uh, but I still have a, about a thousand subscribers over there interested in what I have to say, thanks to all my lazy and stupid subscribers. But again, as I've talked about before, uh, I'm the kind of person who where I'll pick up a project, I'll lose interest and, and move on to something else after a while, or I'll just get frustrated at the fact that, you know, whatever I'm working on isn't growing fast enough. A lot of that I think was a phase. I think I've kind of grown out of that now. I think I'm a little bit more patient. So I'm hoping that that, that mentality doesn't, uh, flood my mind when it comes to this channel because I'm really having fun with what I'm doing here. Anyway, I digress. When we were producing videos for Fantastic, I was using a Canon T3i, no autofocus in that or anything, and I was editing using a program called Cyberlink Power Director, which it's actually a decent video editing program, more on the consumer friendly side, uh, a little less expensive, but also less frills and things like that. But it worked for what I needed to do, but I eventually realized that I need to transition over to a more uh, full featured uh, video editing option if I wanted to progress in my filmmaking so I eventually switched over to uh, Premiere Pro also eventually upgraded my camera from a T3i to a Canon 7D Mark II which is what I did a lot of my videos on for a while and uh, obviously now I shoot on the Sony a6500 and it really wasn't until about maybe two years ago that I started uh, doing video work for clients as a side hustle as opposed to just uh, creating videos for my employers. These last two years have been incredibly instrumental in being able to develop my video editing skills not just and not just editing uh, everything from production understanding cameras understanding lighting understanding audio and being able to pull all those things together to create a much better video that I can make now versus when I first started out I mean that's just kind of the natural progression of how things go I suppose but for me these last two years have just been an incredible period of learning when it comes to filmmaking by the way while we're on the subject of filmmaking this is a kind of a low budget studio we have put together here in my office as you can see we got a hair light right there we've got some lighting here and behind me we've actually painted the wall green for a green screen but this is probably the most interesting thing in this studio this is 
a homemade teleprompter. I can't take credit for this. Nabil from yesterday's video actually made this. Basically we have a little piece of wood and taped to that the cardboard box. Right here is a pane of glass. It appears a black piece of paper to avoid any reflections coming down from the ceiling, reflecting off the glass into the lens. And then in here, we put this iPad mini, reflects off the glass here, into your eyeballs here, and you can perfectly read what's on the screen there and uh, read as you record. Pretty cool, huh? And for the record, everything that I've learned has all been self-taught. Self-taught in the sense that I uh, just basically learned all of my skills from experimentation, but also from YouTube and other online tutorials. And the reason I never went to like a film school was because honestly, I didn't know that this is what I was truly interested in until a few years after I graduated college. That's certainly not to say that you shouldn't consider film school if you're interested in, in learning how to make films. But given all the information we have on the internet now, uh, my personal opinion is that it's really not that necessary. You just kind I have to get started and, and learn as you go. Totally didn't make that. Today's a very exciting day for this guy and for me. Exciting for him because he got a new toy. It's the Mavic, what, Pro? Mavic Pro, yeah. And it's yeah. exciting for me because I get his old Mavic no, Pro. No, no, that's not, that's not true. It, it is there true, is, you said so. No, no, that's not exciting because that's not happening. But this is happening, uh. this right here. So what you're saying is you're not going to give me your old Mavic. No, no, I'm not saying I'm not going to give it to you. I'm just saying I'm going to enjoy you not having it for the most part. All right, let's just get this over with. I don't know. Can I get the knife? Oh, jeez. Congratulations, you have a new Mavic 2 Pro. Moving on. So maybe I'm a little bit jealous of Nabil and his Mavic Pro. I need to get my own drone here pretty soon. Don't tell him I said it though. By the way, this is Leo. I was gonna put Leo in yesterday's vlog, but the problem was the microphone wasn't on. Um, when, he, when he flicked off a guy driving down the street on a, on a golf cart. <laughs> well, I was flicking you off, but in the process of me flicking you off, um, the maintenance people from the building just so happened to be driving by. And it was a stern f off and um, he thought it was me and he stopped. And I was like, no, no, keep going. It's <laughs> it's totally an inaccurate representation of what happened. Totally inaccurate. And that's the story of how I became a filmmaker, or at least I, I'm pretty sure I, I covered everything. I've probably missed a few details here and there, oh well. If there's anything that I didn't cover that you're curious about, just leave me a message below. I'd be happy to answer any questions you have. And that'll do it for Vlogus Day 30. One more day of Vlogus left, guys. I'm so excited. I'm ready to move on and try some new and different things. For all of you who have been watching so far, I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you very much. Tomorrow's video will have a breakdown of my Vlogus experience, things that I've learned, and some stats and things like that. So tune in for that one. But for now, hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button if you're not subscribed already. And we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.